Hi guys, Nick Miller here today from Mark Supply Company. Today I have for you a 2007 Finn B70T, which is a trailer mounted straw blower. Uh, generally I do 20 to 30 B70s a year. Can't find them this year. They're just not out there. Uh, Finn is really kind of, in my opinion, screwed themselves on the new ones. Uh, they went to a Yanmar uh, diesel engine with the uh, admissions on it where this is a true Kubota V1505. This is the legendary setup is what, what people will end up saying about these. The B70 is the Cadillac of the straw blower industry as far as I'm concerned. Uh, nobody builds anything uh, to compete with a Finn B70. They're the best in the industry. Uh, this unit has just 200 and I believe it's 280, 238 hours, I stand corrected, 238 hours. Really a nice, clean, straight, original machine, all original paint. We've 110% serviced it, all trailer brakes, lights, everything guaranteed to be 110%. Uh, unit is really nice, not welded or busted. We're going to go ahead and start you walk you around this machine, and we're going to take you over. We've got some straw here. We're going to run right through it. As I talk, this unit is powered by the legendary Kubota V1505 four-cylinder diesel engine. Starts and runs great. No abnormal noise, smoke, blow by, anything like that. We've had it in the shop. We've serviced it. All filters, fluids have been changed. Up here is your uh, overflow tank for radiator. This is your radiator right here. Four cylinder V1505. Again, no abnormal smoke, noise, blow by, anything like that. This is your clean out screen for your radiator. You can pull that out to keep, uh, keep straw from getting in your radiator cover and overheating. Uh, coming around here, this is your. Um, Air cleaner assembly, again, we've changed that. Air cleaner is, is brand new. Fuel filter, engine oil have all been changed. Uh, even this uh, metal filter here, we went ahead and changed. Um, coming around here, fender has a little um, spot there. Uh, down here, there was a little dent in the fender. We did straighten that, and they put a new reflector on here and a little wee bit of paint. But other than that, the paint is all original. <coughs> coming up in your blower housing here, there's no dents or dings in this section of the blower housing. We did put a new set of uh, nylon blocks in here from Finn. The only reason I've done that is they've got sun fade from setting um, and they start to crack. So we went ahead and did that. Now, uh, whenever you get ready to go to work with your machine, you're going to take, you're going to pull this out. This bar will come down and just go down in this direction. Um, gives you a 360 degree discharge chute. Um, come on around your catwalks. This side catwalk has a slight little bend right here at this pipe, but it doesn't affect anything. I just want to point it out. Catwalk plates themselves are very nice and straight. Um, pulls off of a two inch ball, I do believe is what it is. Um, we'll have your seven pin trailer style plug here. Again, all lights work, all safety chains are good. The jack is in good condition, it works just the way it's supposed to. Again, this catwalk is the same also. This side of the blower housing is in very good condition. There is one little wee ding right there I just want to point out. As far as your clutch, you know, clutch will be put in at idle, out at idle. I see so many guys fire one of these up just like a wood chipper and just wide open throw the clutch in. That is not the way you put a clutch like that in. In at idle, out at idle. Up here at the hour meter, 238 hours, meter works just the way it's supposed to. Uh, key, safety bypass, you'll push and hold this till you turn the key and start, hold it for 10 seconds, let go. Um, everything there works. Fenders are good and straight, other than that ding over there we showed you in the other one. Tires are both 50, to, or they're both 75%. Uh, we've checked them. Uh, wheel bearings have been packed and going over. Uh, we've always liked Finn straw blowers, they're a Cadillac of a straw blower, and uh, really a nice clean machine here. I'm going to go ahead and fire this thing up, and we're going to run some material through it, see that everything works.
runs, works, does everything it's supposed to do. That is a fully adjustable feed tray, by the way. Uh, we are having some wind here today. But this will discharge uh, 60 to 70 feet in still air. Uh, Fin B70 will run six to seven tons of straw through it per hour. Uh, they are a straw eating machine. Uh, if you want a nice size straw blower that you can run and work and uh, have a good resale value, the Fin B70 is your is your pick. Uh, compared to a Rhinco or something else, uh, doesn't hold a candle. The Fin B70 is the Cadillac. If you have any questions on this machine, please let us know. We'll be glad to help in any way that we can. If you need a freight quote, let us know. We're glad to get you on. It won't cost you a dime. Just uh, email us. Let us know if you have a loading dock available or a forklift. Because on the V70, they do have a convenient uh, chain point here. You can pick one right up and um, set it on or off a trailer. And again, if you want to come in here and tow it yourself, you're more than welcome to do so. Don't have anything to hide there. Guarantee you to take it from here to California. Hey, any questions, 814-658-3066. We'll be glad to answer anything you need to know. We're located, and the machine is located right here at 18563. Bun Mountain Road, Saxton, Pennsylvania, 16678. You can check us out at www.marksupplyco.com, on Tractor House Machinery Trader, and on eBay at Mark Supply 88. If you have any questions, 814 658 3066. Thanks for checking out Mark Supply Company. Have a good day.